I welcome to our home kitchen base paradise in Mayocom. Come on in. How are you? Hi, baby. Well, I guess Emma and I moved to the area three years ago. So when we came here and so when it was such a small economy, we decided just to give it a go and, and create Francisco's table. Um, the process of how we create the menus and how we think about the food we're going to make is quite, is quite organic. Uh, sometimes might be an ingredient, uh, and sometimes might be a, a type of, uh, of, of cuisine that we want to do, and then from the moment we construct the story. This week I think I feel like cooking some pork, so we're going to go to David's, uh, which is a friend of mine, a fantastic guy, he's a cattle breeder, and I volunteer with him when I have time, once a week. Okay, this is uh, David, um, David um, is a local cattle breeder, um, and I'm lucky enough to, to have the chance to come and help them once a week. In exchange of some knowledge, I put some muscle and help them uh, cutting some beef, uh, he gives me knowledge, I give him help and it's quite a nice symbiotic relationship and apart from that, look at where we are, it's an amazing place and they have a huge amount of respect for the animals and the pork is the most delicious pork in Byron Bay, I guarantee. Thanks Dave. Alright, thanks Francis. <laughs> I felt this week like cooking a bit of Italian menu since three of my four grandparents are Italian, I feel drawn towards Italian food quite a lot. Okay, well I'm here with Lia. Lia is a, a farmer friend uh, who just moved to the area recently, a couple of years ago, and established this amazing garden that you can see at the back. Um, she practiced you know, organic techniques and she applied all her knowledge in permaculture to create some really tasty veggies. And I guess what is special between the relationship between Leah and Aidan, we have a battering system in where uh, when she feels like it, we exchange um, seats on my dinner for produce, you know. So she comes and have dinner with the family or with friends and um, we get produce from her, um, usually herbs and stuff like that. And last week we got these wicked yellow chilies and I could not find anywhere. And uh, yeah, well this is her passion and, and, and her place and we thank her. Uh, immensely for what she does. I love it so much more, but there's a few big stores at Byron that we go to that aren't at Byron. Yeah. The main one is the Fossil Farm Organics, which you visited the other day. Mia. I guess the best thing about all these markets is that you're really meeting the, the people that grow the stuff. Sorry guys, just one second, just for uh, say thank you so much for coming and dining with us and welcome to Francisco's table. Um, lots of interesting things for me to talk tonight, I'm very excited, I'm accelerated. So excuse me if you don't understand my accent, you can ask the person next to you if they did after I finish. So tonight it's a simple menu, um, but all things are made in the house. Um, starting after I finish this talk, it's our homemade uh, sourdough bread. Um, which was affected by the weather a little bit, I think it still tastes delicious. Um, and then we have a salad, it's a caprese salad if you want to call it what it is. But uh, the interesting thing is, it's six different kinds of tomatoes from four different organic producers in the area in your plate tonight. We have made homemade bocconcini cheese and took us a long time to make. We use uh, the milk from John in my Oakham Road, we pasteurize it, -da 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 -da. it's a seven hour process between Emma and I doing the little balls. And I'm sure you can improve, but we're really happy with the result. I hope you enjoy it because it's not very often that you can go out and have homemade mozzarella. At least you come from a work family and you have it every Sunday. Uh, 
After that, um, we have a beautiful Spanish mackerel. But the story is, and this is the best time of the year for Spanish mackerel, and it's a fantastic fish full of natural oils. And we're going to serve it as a, as a carpaccio uh, by itself, olive oil, sea salt, and a little salad of uh, celery heart, uh, purple onions, and a bit of finger limes, okay? A bit of parsley, and that's it. After that, uh, we're going to have some gnocchi and after to finish the savory business we have a pork, pork belly which we braise, we press, we cut into little steaks psh, psh, on the barbie, salsa verde on top, uh, roasted onions, uh, little capsicums from Cooper Shoot, little uh, eggplants from fossil farms and that's going to come with a salad uh, of rocket mustard leaves, pickled radish and fresh radish. Okay, and some little bit of segments of uh, grapefruit to cut the fat of the pork. And then to finish, boom, simple Italian classic, panna cotta, vanilla, lemon, lemon peel, coffee syrup, roasted almonds, take your time and thank you again for coming. hours of that effort just to make people happy that's what it's all about it you know you happy they're happy we are happy good food good times